This video from outside a New Canaan home the day Jennifer Farber Dulos vanished and another video from an Avon car wash one week into the investigation. Jurors saw both of those today on day 21 of the Michelle Traconis trial. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live at Stanford Superior Court as testimony picked back up today. Matt. Well, Aaron, jurors took in that evidence and they heard plenty of testimony, but one person they didn't hear from the state's chief medical examiner. He was at court. Prosecutors planned to put him on the stand to testify, but that did not happen. Surveillance video from inside and outside an Avon car wash showing what appears to be Fotis Dulos getting a red Toyota Tacoma washed and detailed. We use uh, carpet brushes. We use all-purpose cleaners. Spot carpet cleaner. A truck prosecutor say he used to travel to New Canaan and kill his wife Jennifer back on May 24th, 2019. And on the customer log for the appointment, a 305 phone number, the Miami area code of where Michelle Traconis lived before moving into Dulos's Farmington home. Where did they get that information from? From the customers. Jurors also saw a video of someone riding a bike through a New Canaan neighborhood around 7:30 on the morning of the 24th. And three hours later, a black SUV heading in the opposite direction. Sir, how close are you to Waveney Park? Uh, I would say about a mile. That's where Jennifer Farber Dulos's black Chevy Suburban was found abandoned. The state planned on ending the day with Dr. James Gill, the chief state medical examiner, regarding Jennifer's death. Just because a body has not been found does not mean that a uh, medical examiner cannot make a determination. Something defense attorney John Schoenhorn Dr. objected Gill. to. It's almost entirely entirely based on testimonial hearsay. It's not based on medical records or even someone else's autopsy. And after hearing from both sides, Judge Kevin Randolph agreed that with all the evidence so far, an expert opinion isn't needed. The jury has heard more than Dr. Gill could testify to. The motion's granted. Medical examiner did not review anything medical. He read a re police report, looked at some pictures. Now, prior to court today, the judge also ruled on a motion that uh, the state would be allowed to introduce Michelle Traconis's cell phone records and location data after a new search warrant. Testimony will pick back up tomorrow at 10. We're live with the mobile newsroom outside Stanford Superior Court. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt.